Right, and, and, and under the APA, I can't comment on it. That's just, I understand. See, so I'm kind of like you're putting me in a hard position. I mean, okay. if I would be doing that, I'd be getting calls from legal saying, "What are you doing? And why are you okay. commenting on something that's been proposed?" Proposed. So, okay. Yes. And do you have any opinion on research in general? Do you believe? Yes. That there, I, there if you be look at research? my record, if you look at my record, I have never, ever denied research that's gone through all of the all of the necessary steps. And if you know anything about the researchers, for me to approve research registration, it has to be approved by HHS and NIDA. Right. Okay. So unless I have an approval from HHS and NIDA, I can't approve it. Now, the question you should ask is... About NIDA? No, the question you should ask is, so how many... Uh, if you've gotten a NIDA HHS approval on protocols for research, have you ever denied? The answer is no. <laughs> the, the reason that you haven't denied those is because usually the problem that happens with research right now is that DEA isn't the problem, it's the NIDA monopoly. See, but, but, but hold on a second. I, and I, okay. I'm not talking no, about NIDA, and I'm not talking about what I'm saying is <laughs> if I get the proper approvals through the, the, the interagency review process, and protocols have been approved. Uh, I think this, the statutory uh, requirements and obligations are pretty clear. I issue, I issue. But if I don't have that, I can't issue. And, now, and, in the case of the actual proposed research marijuana growing business, so far, according to Judge Bitter, we have met our burden, and DEA should under the statutory obligations. That's that is currently going under it's it's under review right now, so I can't talk about that up until this point in time, but uh, you know, you've got you've got to look at what we've done. Okay? And I think in my testimony I talked about that in July July 12th testimony. So, uh, I, you know, it's pretty clear what my obligations are. But I apologize for not being able to say no, it's more, okay. but it's I in understand. The I'm an attorney. <laughs> yeah. And you're you. my client. I, would tell you. <laughs> I know. You're Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.